What a way to start the season so far. I mean, first off, we're reintroduced to our characters, and all of a sudden the recon division's going down for some reason. Probably has to do with uh, Historia or something to do with her. But then, of course, in the second episode, we get in... Well, first episode we got introduced to him, but in the second episode we saw really just how just how crazy and badass the guy was. We got introduced to Kenny the Killer. And supposedly Kenny... Well, actually, Kenny just came out and said it, is the man who trained Levi. And we also got to see Levi back in action, which hells to the yeah on that, because... <clears throat> Levi is badass. And we also, uh... We also found out that Levi's last name was Ackerman. Which was very interesting to learn. Because that potentially means he's related to Mikasa. Which, given both of them are ridiculous when it comes to slaying titans and using the 3D movement gear, they're, they're two of the best. If not the best. And... <clears throat> I... I'm interested in what the hell's going to happen from here on out in this season that I just can't keep myself from from dying of anticipation. So, once again, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, we are going to dive headfirst into this amazing troth of delectable just craziness. Let's get into uh, Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 3. Old story. Here we go. Three, two, one. Also, is it just me or does Aaron get kidnapped more than Princess Peach? No. He gets kidnapped a lot, but not as much as Princess Peach. That bitch, that bitch got a big spread to cover. Hmm. <laughs> よるになると誰かが馬車で迎えに来て私にあれば。それが。ファックアップ このそれが母の最後の言葉でした。ここよりずっと遠くの地で、つましく生きるのであれば、見逃してやってはどうかと。君の名はクリスタレンズだ。ことを許してくれ。うん。お前を守るためにはアスルしかなかったんだ。父さん
She might have trouble swallowing stuff for the next few days. Oh, that man's gonna be. そりゃ否定はしないけど。肉にもあんたらがそう見えただろうね。邪魔見ろ。バカ。そこで殺せるだけの野生に生きがいでも見出したろ。じゃあな。いや、こう俺とも誰かがすぐに狩りを演じ始
and that was that. I mean, it power struggles, especially when it comes to monarchies, are no stranger to bloodshed and no stranger to backstabs and betrayals. I mean, I just thought of something really bad too. What if uh, this uh, they haven't necessarily stopped doing what they did to Ymir? They just saved that for people who claim to be the true successor to the throne or whatever. This could end up going very badly. Oh, no. <laughs> You're right. Commander Irwin, the interior squad demands you turn yourself <laughs> in where we pause it out to. ハンジ、ここから離れる。次の調査兵団団長はハンジーぞ。お前だ。調査兵団団長。No. Passed over Levi? Yeah, that's weird too. リーブス商会の会長。リモリーブス氏だ。昨日ここでエレンイエガーが調査兵団がリーブス商会を使って企てた狂言だった。そして調査兵団は用済みになったリーブス会長を口封じのため殺害。ではここにどこへの重大な違反を認め、全調査兵の身柄を拘束する。親父。残りはリバイたちだけですが
Yeah, it's probably a good thing to say for the writing and everything because it's eliciting an emotional response. But the emotional response is that this season is giving me anxiety. Yeah, that's same <laughs> here, man. I, I there's so much going on behind the scenes, so many backstories and all this. But and the stuff that we just found out from Irwin and that what happened with his dad and everything, and knowing and knowing that this is the that these are the links that the government will go to to keep everything quiet. What are they hiding? Is there like it like what is the true like what is the the what is at the bedrock of this entire situation? I mean, I'm starting to like a lot of my theories are starting to be proved right and the little bit that was kind of off is getting thrown out and things are starting to attach more and more to each other. Yeah. There's new questions now that I still don't really know what's up with, but I'm pretty sure I have some pretty good guesses as to what's going to end up happening to an extent. I, I could still be wrong, but well, like, uh, it's like they said, basically it's like the people in like, I mean, you know, Irwin's theory sound a hundred percent correct. Yeah, they like do. The people in charge are doing what they're doing because of their own personal greed. Yeah. Not for the better no... of humanity, but they're justifying it to themselves as, Oh, it's for the good of humanity. And it's like, no, it's just, you're being questioned. It's like, obviously, they're not good people. Like, otherwise, they wouldn't be killing people for asking questions. They're hiding something from everyone. And what they're hiding, it's probably along the lines of the fact that they're the fucking reason they're in this situation to start with. Yeah, I, like, I the believe government that. was The government and the clergy, it was their fault for the for situation. For creating the Titans. Yeah, like, essentially, or for making the problem worse. Like, yeah. I, I don't like I it, it, it seems like they came up with some kind of fucked up idea it'll just be like this is what we're gonna do to punish people we'll turn them into these monster things and it's like yeah oh shit those monster things eat people and they probably didn't find out until it was too late and they'd already gotten rid of a lot of people that way yeah and now it's like okay so we have to stay In inside walls. the walls now and can't ever leave because we made all these monsters that are running around outside yeah and it's then there's apparently another civilization somewhere else that is going to play into this in a completely different way. And I think I'm starting to see more of the, uh, those are the guys that like Reiner Bert Holt and them, you know, obviously their methods suck because they've killed a lot of innocent people. And I, I think they're, I guess their ire is misguided Yeah. because their ire should be squarely set on the government of this city. Yeah. Like, but they apparently kind of just hate this whole city in general. Yeah. Like, they're essentially racist towards this particular city full of people. Well, yeah, and, like, and, um, and I can see that because here's one thing about it. Every side, no matter which war you're on, every side has the inner workings that are always, that always have ulterior motives. Yeah. Always. And so they've basically confirmed what we were wondering about could... Ymir eating their comrade have given her the power to change back. Basically, yeah, that's what they think, too. Um, and that's what it seems like. And therefore, one of the reasons they wanted to get a hold of Aaron is they didn't want that city's government to have him because that would give them a, essentially the equivalent of a, you know, weapon of mass destruction to use against their civilization. Yeah, because Aaron has this, has the ability to trigger all the Titans to pretty much dogpile on hmm. it. Like he can control them in a limited capacity. Any it seems like the beast is... Titan may also have that and may also be from Reiner and Bert Holt's civilization, or it could even be from a, a third party civilization. I mean, who knows? Like, well, I think he has more limited control because he can definitely make them stop what they're doing to an extent. Well, yeah, like, he, 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 he did have to thing... be like I said, stop, you know, to that well, one. Well, yeah, he was just like, I thought I said stop, and then he crushed its head. Yeah, it's like damn. Um, but yeah, it's looking more and more like there's kind of a cold war type thing going on between these two nations. Yeah, and it's probably because the one doesn't agree with what the one is trying to do, and possibly because the one hates that nation for making all of this a problem in the first place. Probably. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, because to be honest. Because maybe previously Titans were just more of a, like, 
this is a thing we can do. If we ever need to protect our friends from danger, we can turn it into this giant thing and do so. Like, tiger trying to eat your friend, squish the kitty. <laughs> like, oh. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, but... Or, or... And then there's like, but these fuckers over here are weaponizing some fucking inbred version of it that's now coming to try to eat us, and this is some bullshit. Mm. Yeah, that is some bullshit. You know, that, that sounds a lot like what this could be. Like, we might still be wrong, but... Like, that's kind of what I'm thinking at this point. We're only on episode three of season three. And I can guarantee you those people who were, you know, who were talking shit to us last season about how, it's like, oh my god, you guys are so wrong about these characters here. It's like, let us find out. <laughs> how about you let us find out instead of being a know-it-all asshole and going in the comment section just be like, oh my god, I know more than you. Holy shit, oh my god. Yeah, nobody likes you. Nobody. I bet you you don't even like yourself. You look at yourself in the mirror and you say, how can I have an advantage over some people? Oh my gosh, I know. Watching uh, anime before someone else yeah, or reading manga or read before manga. someone watches the anime doesn't make your dick any bigger. No, it doesn't. Or your in tits truth, any bigger. No, in truth, it just, in truth, it just <laughs> makes you even more alone because you are deliberately isolating yourself by deliberately like making people not like you. Well, we've You're said, not doing we, anything. We've said this a lot in previous videos. Yeah, we so have. Sure, and I don't sure think, everybody else is like, yeah, yeah, I don't think we've said we it enough. We get the point. <laughs> get a fucking life. Jesus Christ. But that's All why right. I stopped reading comments on Attack on Titan. This is like, A, I don't want this spooled for me. Yeah, because this me is too. Definitely, I'm probably going to do the same thing here. Like, I'm already, like, kind of disappointed with the stuff that I had spoiled for me before I ever started watching, like, season oh, that's two. Right, you know? and now that I'm back to the point where I don't know anything. Like, actually, I'm going to say... Um, like I forgot until just recently I did have Levi's last name spoiled for me at a point, but I had actually forgotten it. So luckily for me, before we started watching this, I didn't remember that until they said it. And I was like, Oh, oh that's right. okay. Okay. So yeah, like I, it took me until like, uh, editing it. Um, I think yesterday and I was like, wait a minute. Someone did fucking tell me his last name was that at some point. And oh. I was like, Okay, well, at least I forgot. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, enough. I don't know if there's anything else I've forgotten about. Like I said, there's, like, one, like, method that supposedly I've seen in the manga that they try to use against Titans at some point that I haven't seen yet. And it's not, like, anything significant. It's like a, you know you know how they use cannons on them at some points? Yeah. It's like an alternate thing, like, kind of like, it's, it's, oh. it's a piece of equipment I know they use at some point. That's the most of anything else I've had spoiled for me. Okay. And like, so it's not anything major at all. You know, it's just like, there's a scene where they use a certain thing for some reason to try to try and know, do something against combat them. or something against the Titans. Like, okay. Hey. It's, it's not anything like, we'll get, you know, it's, we'll get there. it's not like 3d maneuver gear or anything fucking balling that you would want to see revealed. It's just a, it's a mundane thing. So, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. So, this was an interesting episode. Once again, a lot more of the stirring of the pot, and uh, and also the background and everything, and seeing what all what all will lie ahead. Uh, we are, yeah, we we're, we're going headlong into this, and we're getting into the meat of the story. And I gotta say, I'm very hotly anticipating what the hell is gonna happen next. Yeah, the story has gone completely different direction from what I expected it to based off the last two seasons. <laughs> Oh, God, what a change. I thought it was going to be they got back to town, they geared up, and they decided to go find where the hell Reiner and Bert Holt came from or something. Either that or we were gearing up for the Beast Titan. Like Based off the end of the last episode where it looked like the Beast Titan was kind of hanging out on the wall. Yeah. I thought we were gearing up for the Beast to Titan to like attack the city Yeah, because there he was just sitting there. He's just like... Apparently, he's just kind of chilling. Yeah, maybe he's... Uh, maybe they have some kind of... Um, Maybe they have spies, basically. Maybe. And maybe they have some information and they know what's going down right now. We're like, let's just see how this plays out. <laughs> yeah. God. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you all very much for tuning in. If you are watching this on YouTube and you want to see the full version of this, link for the uh, Patreon is right down below in the description. And uh, also, if you want to uh, see more from us, I mean, that little subscribe button we got right down there. And also that uh, little bell that you can ring to stay notified. And also, uh, if you uh, hey, if you want to just chat with us, I mean, we have a Discord. You can mm -hmm. chat with us on there and discuss stuff. No spoilers, though. No spoilers. Well, I think there's a spoiler 
Well, there is a spoiler uh, thing, section but... that you can talk about stuff in there, but I have it muted and I won't be looking at it. Yeah, so. I'm not looking at it either. <laughs> if like, you want to talk to me, come to general chat. Don't bring your spoilers with you. Yeah, gin chat. Uh, the mods will ban you for spoiling anything outside yes. of the spoiler chest. Hardcore, hardcore ban with extreme prejudice. Mm-hmm. So, all right. This was Attack on Titan, Season 3, Episode 3, Old Story. Now, I, now, I hope that this keeps going the path it's going. And I guess we're going to see right here in just a moment because we're going to move on to the uh, next episode. So until then, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We will see you in the next one, everybody. A peace out.